This is Genatsa Tayer, a toast to Armenia with Jano Kabinjian. A comprehensive look at the Armenian culture only on the Ignotainment Media Network. <laughs> October 2nd. Nice to have the show back on, Chris. Oh, man. It is good to be back. It's fall. The weather's nice. Yes, yes. In the Midwest, that's what we go through. Yep. In the California, they go through something else. Exactly. Yeah, it's called nice all the time. Yeah. Um, our friend, uh, Chris Chambers of Aram Aram, he had a great turnout in Fresno. Yeah, that's what and, I saw. Um, uh, he was very thankful. Our our man Chris Chambers sends out a big thank you to all the participated. It was a great turnout. And uh, Fresno, thank you very much. And we're not going to end right there because, well, we got the big uh, opening in Glendale October 16th. That's October 16th, yeah. my friends. A must-see and must for all Armenians to show support for Aram Aram. Chris Chambers, thank you, my man. Yeah, thank you very much. This week we have the winner. We got the winner of the photo contest, uh, Chris. Uh, it's going to be up on our site. Yeah, it'll be you're, on. Uh, you're going to have it on our site, right? Yep, on the Facebook page. And her name is Celicia Hope ah. of Armenia. And uh, we will post the winning picture. It's a beautiful picture. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Uh, it's, uh, it's going to be on uh, Toast Armenia. You guys are going to like it. I mean, it's a real nice scene. And. Uh, Roger loved it, and this is going to be the front cover of the book. So thank you for all that participated in this. I use that word a lot today. Yeah, well, it was a great, It was an awesome, though, awesome competition. Yeah, awesome. The video was cool, yeah. I think. So. We had, I, I, I got to say, it was tough between three or four pictures, but this is the one that Roger went with, and uh, we couldn't have agreed more. This was a great picture, and we will have it up on Toast Armenia. Yes, we so will. So you guys will definitely check it out. In some news today, Levon Aroyan, a grandmaster chess star, not chess star, chess star <laughs> of Armenia, put on a clinic. And, and this clinic, Chris, was about having little kids all sit there with a chessboard in front of, and he went by each one of them, and he played each one of them. Oh, that's pretty cool. That, that That's great. And he called it Sport for Equal Opportunities. Grandmaster Oroyan, Oroyan played against kids, giving each child a one-on-one -on -one attention in chess. You know what? God bless those yeah. kids. God bless Levon Oroyan to take out time from out of his schedule and show some love back to Armenia on that one. Yeah, that's great. Uh, well, you know, he's, he's a little old here, but October 3rd, Vic Darchinian, I, he's, the guy's 40 years old. He won't stop fighting. <laughs> Record of 48 and one will step in the ring again at the age of 40. Wow. And, uh, you know, it's amazing because I'm, I'm what, 46, 47. Yeah. And if I swing my arm that hard, <laughs> I may have to go see a doctor. <laughs> Seriously. And if anyone punched my ab, oh. I mean, you may just carry me with a lobby. Yeah, I, I, I mean, with a dolly. I would I would also I'd be in trouble. Oh, for the love of God. Age of 40, fighting in Australia against, well, check this name out. This alone should get me some points here. <laughs> Mang Kol Che, and that's his first name. Oh, wow. Well. Last name Luke Mankanchi. All righty. Yeah, I, I, I mean, people say have a hard time with my last name, uh, Kabinjian. Yeah. Hey, Luke Mankanchi, <laughs> come to the front. Uh, please, we need to see you. At, and we uh, need to see you. Check out. Yeah, he's got a record of twelve and four. Vic coming off of a big loss against Argentines Jesus Kularian, huh. uh, not an Armenian. Kularian, yeah. Kularian. Yeah. Sorry. How how come I had a harder name with that one than, yeah, the, than the other Luke one? Luke Manchi. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Darchinian, all the best wishes to you, my friend. Yep. And that's tomorrow night, October 3rd in Australia. Yeah. Land down under. I'd like to visit Australia. Somewhere. Yeah, we need to be in Australia I, I sometime. Yep. What is it now over there? It's wintertime. I there, think it's winter, it? yeah. Yeah, well, we don't want to be in winter. No, time. but I want to go down under, though. For sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Our national team, the Armenian team, 
Well, they have a friendly uh, game against France yeah. in October. It, it won't be so friendly. <laughs> and um, as for Group B participation, and there's that word again, yeah, participation. participation. That's that our may, word of the day. Yeah, that may be our word of the day. We finished fifth out of sixth. At least we weren't in the cellar. Hey. That's one good thing. And um, hopefully we see some new faces on our defense. Because, Chris, I'm telling you, Every time our defense takes the field, it seems like they it's it's a mission alone just to clear the ball. <laughs> but, but for them, they always seem to score a goal on their own net. Yeah, well, that's that, that's not I mean, exactly that's like, the idea. I, it's their way of saying I scored a goal. Yeah, exactly. The, the ball went in the net. Yeah, we got to tell these guys it's the other side. Exactly. It's, it's you're shooting to the <laughs> other side, not in our own net. <laughs> And uh, so Armenia, they they could sure use some new defensemen that could help out there, and it pro- that probably puts us at a at a no. Uh, we're not probably going to get any Armenian defensemen on our show. No, probably not. That no, that, 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 that probably is the bad, end of that. Yeah, that was a bad vibe on that one. <laughs> October fourth, Yerevan will host its first ever half marathon, Ooh. starting at 10 a.m. Hundreds of runners expected to participate in this, and you know what? That would be great for me too. I, I think I need to do something. Yeah, I'm like hey, I'm all about the half marathons. All right. Now, now if I could actually run them, that would be even better. But yeah, I love I, hearing about them. I, can we ride a bike? <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, can we be in the starter car right, that yeah. goes in front of the leader and leads yeah, him where to go? And, and just uh, blowing this uh, horn at him. <laughs> run, run, yeah. run. Yeah, you're looking great back you're there. You're looking great. Yeah. You're you keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't be like me. You want some of this water? No. Yeah, water. You could give them water. <laughs> All my listeners out there in Armenia, be sure to be out on the streets cheering on our cheering our runners on. How about that? Um uh, also you might just get a glimpse. You may have a lucky glimpse of uh Yure Jork. Kaev, Jorkaev, a former French football champion who will also guess so guess the word participate 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 in this. A lot of happy faces around the streets of Yerevan. I, I tell you that 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 should be fun. I oh mean, man, It'd be I, great. I, I I've sat back and I've watched this on the streets before with a bicyclist, and yeah, I, it, it's a it's a good atmosphere. And when you get hundreds of runners running oh, out man. on the streets too, you, everyone should be happy. And uh, for my people out in Armenia listening to this podcast, and that is October fourth. Be out there. Let's give a big applause for our runners out there and. Again, you might even see a soccer player. He may kick a ball to you. Well, or <laughs> Just make throw. sure it's not his own goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's our applause for That's them. That's our applause. That's our applause. <laughs> also in Armenia, October 2nd through October 4th, put on your drinking glasses, my friends. <laughs> Big party at the village of Arani. Ah. The village will host its seventh wine festival. Big shout out to Mekhak Apresyan, the head of the tourism. I don't know why we couldn't get him on yeah, today. Yeah, we should have got him that'd on. That'd be great. And um, he's the head of the tourism. You know what? Let's uh, write that down, Chris. Yeah, let's no, get, absolutely. Let's get his we'll name get him in. on. And uh, we may have to get um, Mekhak. I hope I'm saying this right. Or Mekhak. Yeah, I think that's right. How the hell do you know? How the hell would I know? <laughs> yeah. I was looking uh, him up. No, I was looking him up here. Apresian. Right. Apresian. Yeah. I, I know I said the last name right, but uh, he's the head of tourism, and the guy's uh, doing a great job. He put this thing together. And uh, Armenia, get in your cars and get out to the village Have some of Arni. Don't drive home drunk, no. though. Maybe stay there overnight. That's what it's all about. And uh, enjoy a whole night of wine. That's That's a good time there. Have you been to any of those wine festivals? I have been. Yeah, they're always always a good yeah. time, and uh, you know, especially especially you, around here. You know, yeah, at this th- time of year. Have you been to the one out in the Herman? Or uh, I was the last time I was in Herman, Missouri, was probably eleven years ago. But I've been. Yes. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, it was, it was a, good a good time. time. They yeah. take you on tour buses, and uh, you just kick back and drink wine. Yeah, when uh, we were it's, it's Stonehill, right? Yeah, Stonehill. Yeah, it was a good time. Though. Yeah, yeah. When I was away at school. Uh, 
a whole bunch of us would always, you know, spend a spend a whole whole day there or a weekend. And, there. and it wasn't that expensive. No, I, th- no. I think it's like uh, what was it, forty dollars or something like that? Yeah, they I think not put much. you in the yeah. So in any, any case, in any case, uh, also in uh, Yerevan. October second through October four. I tell you what, there's a lot of there's, stuff going it's on happening this in Yerevan this weekend. Jeez, <laughs> yeah, that's where we got to be. I know. Through uh, October fourth in Yerevan, we'll host this eleventh di- Digitech Technology Ooh. Exhibition. Now that actually is really interesting to me. Expecting over forty thousand visitors. Wow. A hundred seventy companies from all over the world will be uh, showing off their products. From countries like U.S., China, Taiwan, Russia, Sweden, Ukraine, Belarus, Georgia, and Iran. That's uh, that's that's great, oh, man. That They're is great. 170 countries. That, I mean, but that's a huge convention. I mean, that's that's yeah, the real deal. Forty thousand yeah. people. Uh, I wonder what the hell me and you would make <laughs> to participate in this. Yeah, yeah. Aluminum foil hat. Uh, yeah, or a slingshot with it. <laughs> exactly. oh, this slingshot's the best slingshot you've ever seen. Yeah, we record a show yeah. on a computer. Also, there's going to be Armenians across the globe that will be participating in, in this as well. Wow, that's so. awesome. So, you know what? There's a lot of things going on in Armenia. And, uh, hey, I got to tell you one thing more about this. I don't yeah. want to forget this. On Huffington Post... Oh, yeah. Yeah, th- this was just out, guys. This was just out September 30th, 2015 on Huffington Post. Uh, they wrote the 10 things about Armenia that people, uh, it's it's about the love of Armenia. The wow. 10 things they love about Armenia. Huffington Post is huge. I, lo- I read it every day, yeah. Me too, yeah. me too. I, I love this. And uh, here, let me give you guys the 10 things about Armenia. Okay. Yeah, well, we're ready for them. And this is not in any order or whatever. This is just 10 things that uh, Huffington Post loves about Armenia. Old history, but yet still feels young. Okay. I mean, yeah, no, that's cool. I can see how they would say that. It's amazing because when you go to the city, it's old, but yet it's so modern, too. It's, It's a beautiful concept there. Has the most incredible monasteries of the world. Echmiazin, of course, is mm. the oldest monastery in the world. And uh, I tell you what, though, I drank the water. They they drink the water that comes out from Echmiazin, uh, the little fountain. Interesting. And uh, if you're not used to that, uh, <laughs> I don't recommend you drink it because I was two weeks in bed after drinking. Really. H. Miazin water. That's rough. Yeah, it was very rough. I couldn't mm-hmm. even eat during that time. Jeez. But, hey, some people it may not affect, uh. and a lot of Armenians enjoy it. Don't look at me. I I, I got laid out in bed for two <laughs> weeks, though. <laughs> Ararat is the most magnificent mountain overlooking Yerevan, and that is no lie, my friends. And people in Yerevan and Armenia would know that, and every Armenian out there knows that as well. It's a beautiful scene. I mean, it looks like Colorado, this this mountain, and you you just feel that brisk air coming from that mountain. It's it's a beautiful scene, Chris. Wow. Yeah. I, and, I, yeah, go ahead. I, obviously, I, I haven't ever been there to actually see it, but that is one thing that I really want to do. Is I can't to wait I till know. you and me go. I know. I mean, I, we have a lot of listeners out there that love our show, yep. and they know us. They Absolutely. know us by now, so this is beautiful. Uh, number four, an amazing variety of foods, which I got to tell you, man. Yep. Armenians, they don't use charcoal. They use wood. Wow. They use, And I'm not talking about wood you smoke like in America, sure. you know, like you capture the smoke yep. smell. It ain't like that. They take the wood and they convert it to, like, charcoal That's so by cool. just crushing it down. So this wood... Just gets into the meat and smell, and it's unbelievable. God bless. I'm I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> but Armenians have a variety of foods, that, and the Huffington Post even goes along with it. So mm. I'm glad they noticed that. Uh, number five, incredible modern art. It's it's unbelievable. They got like uh, bazaars out there to where you just walk through, and people are so artistic in Armenia. I mean, they they draw so much, and they have 
uh, sculptures and stuff. Wow. And every time you come into this country, uh, you claim it's only worth $5. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, when when you're going to land a plane, sure. that they're of always course. wanting yeah, to like say, how much is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell you yeah, exactly. how much this is. <laughs> now now they're going to now they're gonna be looking 87 at 87 cents. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I got it for a dollar. Yeah, exactly. It's worth two dollars, but <laughs> okay, okay, now I get out. Uh, number six on Huffington Post, they got the Hotch cars. The Hotch is the crosses, and the cars are the rocks. And this is all the sculpturing with just chiseling out like crosses into I've seen these, these stones. They it, are incredible. You know how much time that is to sit there and do something like that? Oh. And, and we're noted for that. And this is from ancient times, and we still have it. And uh, it's beautiful artwork, man. And uh, it shows how much religion and Christianity is important to Armenia. And uh, we still have it, and we still look at that and say, wow, that yeah. that, that is j-. And the Huffington Post Obviously, agrees so with too. us. Yeah. 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 And uh, also, variety of fresh and dried fruit. You know, American Nut has fresh and dried fruit. Yes, they do. And they yeah. have the best. And it's, and- uh, may- I will honestly say, I have never in my life had nuts that I have liked any, As more, any more than American Nut. And, I mean, yeah. blew my mind. I, and I'm not just saying that. They were amazing. And we got we got to go back to American Nut. Yep. And that's uh, Armenian-owned. And plus, again, Armenia is all about fresh and dried fruit. Huffington Post. There you have that one. Number eight. Landscape is beautiful. Uh, well, you huh. know what? It, w- did we didn't we uh, interview Richie? Yes, uh, and uh, Richie said it's unbelievable, man! Incredible. How beautiful uh, what we walked through and so forth. Yep. So we could uh, testify to that as well. Absolutely. Number nine, the music is outstanding. I, when you get people sitting around drinking that vodka and that brandy and that beer and just enjoying good music. Ho- folk music and so forth and yep. just I tell you what that place is electric yeah and I, I mean electric by just I'm not saying by uh standards of like uh, hip-hop or anything like that but just kicking back and enjoying good acoustic music you oh, know I'm sure absolutely and uh music, music. That, that's the Pomegranate uh yeah, uh, production. Pomegranate music, the absolutely. Pomegranate music with our man Rafi. He's so. he's a he's a great guy. Great guy, isn't he? Yep. A- anything I I need, the guy's like, hey, when I was put put in the hospital a couple of days, he, all he did was ask about me, how I'm doing, and everything. So I am not surprised to hear that. Yeah. So uh, we got some great connections there, and uh, I'm sure we'll have one more or a couple more of his uh, uh, people that uh, perform in that uh, line uh, on our show as well. Oh, that's very cool. And uh, number ten, who can who can argue with this one? The friendliest people of the world. Yeah, that to me, right there, Th- folks. That's, that, it. that's it. That's it. That's it. The friendliest people the mic. of the world. Yeah, <laughs> I just threw the papers up in the air on that one, because guys, I tell you what, everyone that goes to Armenia, I'm not embarrassed to, to find out that. You know, I I hope they were treated good. I hope that no, I don't even have to ask that. I course, know yeah. that the people that visit Armenia are treated just like brother, yep. brother or sister. Man, it's beautiful concept, and that's only in Armenia. And any one of my uh, Armenians that are in the, you know, that aren't in Armenia, or I got the Odar friends that listen to the show as well. Uh, please make a trip out to Armenia. You will not regret it. It's beautiful, and like uh, Huffington Post said, you won't regret it. Mm-hmm. Ten things right there that you just can't. Uh, but it's awesome that they're just you know spending the real estate in the Huffington Post to, to feature Armenia. I mean, it deserves yeah, it. Yeah, this great. was when September thirtieth. Yeah, this just, was just just, uh, just li- a day and a half ago. Day and yep. a half ago. How beautiful is that, my friends? Uh, so this is Huffington Post putting this out and. Uh, can't go wrong with that. Speaking of can't go wrong, what do we got next? Of course, we're going to have Mariam. Hey, guys, before we get to Mariam uh, on our cooking session there, uh, I got to tell you guys, we got a sponsor this week, and it's called DraftKings.com. I'm sure you guys see them on TV. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you guys see them on TV. But if you play any fantasy sports out there, 
and uh, you're in America. I'm sure they do it in Canada as well. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's everywhere. At this uh, point. From football to basketball, baseball, hockey, these guys do it all. Just about and, every sport yeah, there is, I think. Yeah, in DraftKings.com, uh, you can play fantasy sports, and it doesn't have to be a whole year process. You could have a weekend session with uh, playing with your friends, playing with people that you don't know. But you know what? It ends in a week, and you don't have to be stuck with a fantasy team all year long. So that's DraftKings.com. Check them out, and I'm sure you guys will like it if you play any fantasy sports. Hey, what's going on there, Mario? Hey there. Hey, how you doing, Mario? How's things going? Good, good. Thank you. How are you guys? Not bad. Uh, you said you were a little under the weather, so we'll make this a uh, little short here. What's uh, what's our big recipe for this weekend? It's uh, really not big, but it's very easy, and I know a lot of people are going to make this one. It's an eggplant uh, side dish. It could be a dip, uh, and it's roasted eggplants. Oh, yeah. With bother a few, yeah, bother <laughs> Oh, I love and it. And it has few ingredients. Uh, it's just garlic, uh, drained yogurt, or lepni, if you're familiar with right, that. Lepne, or it can yeah. be Greek yogurt right. or Greek yogurt. Um, and then salt, pepper. You can add little sour cream, and that's about it. And on the uh, balajan, do you, the eggplant, do you uh, make that outside or do you cook this on the inside? And then uh, h- how do you cook, how do you prepare the eggplant to? to uh, get, get it in that yeah, that's a great question um well as any armenian is familiar when we make the barbecue especially armenians from armenia they make the vegetables first right. uh, which are the bell peppers and so they would make that um on a fire mm-hmm. you know and uh, or you know you can definitely do it on a grill or even in an oven but um that's i love it when it's on a fire because i like that smoky uh, yeah, flavor. yeah, and uh, on that note too, guys, I think what she means on that as well is, uh, you want this bottle, John. You want this eggplant to completely be black because what they do is uh, they start peeling this off, and then it becomes real soft on the inside to where that's what we work with. Right, right. That's a great point. Yeah, uh, it's a whole eggplant, and uh, you once it's cooked, you can kind of scoop it out, or you can peel it, and then you kind of mash it. Um, and then you add the yogurt and little sour cream, the minced garlic, salt, pepper, and it's perfect. Oh, really that good. sounds great. Do you put any olive oil on the top of it at the end? You can. You can. I don't, but uh, olive oil always makes everything taste good. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's that's our uh, – and what's this called, Mario? You know, it has a name. Uh, it's not an Armenian name. My grandmother called it uh, Tarator. I honestly don't know where the origin of that word comes from, uh, but it's very similar to baba ganoush. That's uh, very, uh, right. I know a lot of people are familiar Sounds with really that, yeah. except it's not with tahini. It's with the yogurt. Right, right. It's it's almost like on the fine line between that and the hummus. It, yeah. I mean, it's, it's almost the same concept, but uh, the other ones with uh, eggplant. And, uh, again, I... I, I got a word for that, too, but I forgot what they call it. But uh, my dad and mom used to make it all the time. It was delicious. They would put magdanos on top of it, too. It, it was unbelievable with uh, Arabic bread. Mm. So, yeah, it's it's delicious, Chris. And that's our uh, recipe for this week then, right, Mariam? Yes, yes. And I will promise I'll have something yummy for next week, too. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? You're under the weather, so take care of yourself. And uh, we appreciate this uh, because this was a nice recipe yeah, for the weekend. Yeah, it was a great recipe. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Thank you, Maria, and we will be in touch next week. It is my pleasure, guys. Thank you. I tell you what, that that's a great recipe. And, and the thing that she didn't mention, when we cook it on the grill outside and when it's really hot and so forth, I bring it in for the ladies to peel it because I'll burn my hands. Oh, well. The women always do that. For some reason... That's like our Armenian thing. We bring it inside because the men, we just got done with this, or the vegetables <laughs> all black and stuff. And then the women peel this off because I tried to peel this off. Yeah. I almost got like third degree burns. Jeez, yeah, I'll pass on. Yeah. I'll just eat it. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so 
in any case, uh, that was a great recipe, and uh, thank you, Mariam, for that. And, and we hope you feel better. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Hate to call people when yeah, they're I sick. Know. And you know but what? She's I, a trooper. I was, yeah. The well, show goes on. God bless her. <laughs> And uh, my friends, you got anything to add on this one, Chris? No, just remember to find the show on iTunes or Stitcher. Hit the share button. Hit the review and and the the, the like button. Uh, you know, any reviews help us, especially the five star reviews. Share the show on your social media accounts and. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe. And uh, another thing, another big shout out, October 16th, Glendale for Aram Aram in Glendale. Show some support there for the show. Absolutely. And uh, we couldn't appreciate enough how much of our listeners, uh, you know, got got together to- It was it was great. Got it together awesome for, for Roger Capellian's book. It was uh, fabulous and can't appreciate enough how much uh, that meant to us that Roger- Got got to his goal, so Absolutely. we're very happy with that. And my friends, it's been a great show. Uh, we didn't have a guest this week, but you know what? We went over some real good information with you guys about what's going on. And God bless, and we'll stay in touch. Kisher party, genatsat, my friends. Tune in next week for another episode of Genatsat Hayer. A Toast to Armenia with Jono Kabinjian. You can find the show online at www.armeniaproud.com or download and subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher for Android. This is the Ignotainment Media Network.